1967, the second rally. They were running in the uh, nearby in 66 and Claude went over to see them and who am I talking about? I'm talking about the Harris Showland family, the Harrises of Ashington West Sussex, one of the oldest established families in Showland in the whole country, if not the world. They were working in the, in the fairgrounds in the days of horse and carts and steam engines and they got today their, their lovely Victorian, genuinely old, traditional rides, the the chair of plays and all the other rides they brought over with us and they've supported us every year religiously come rain or shine and luckily this year it's shine we've had to they, they've been great because their ac matadors have towed a lot of us out in previous years and like all showland families they work together as a family and they travel the country as a family and in the winter they go to their ground back in ashington and do a lot of repair work on lorries and that sort of thing repainting all the rides bringing them up to safety standards and they are a very close-knit family. Very sadly, last week, one of the member of that family, Doug, passed from us and the with us. Hence, you'll see on the top of the the, uh, the calipers there, the flag, and on top of the, uh, the striker and the other rides, the flags are at half mark. On the calipers there is uh, a particular horse called Douglas and it was called after Doug and it's the horse on the gallop is your spotted because he, it's the only horse with a black armband or in this case a black neckband. I was hoping to have Doug's wife Anne here with me but she's not come up but uh, in a minute I'm going to call for a minute silence in honour of Doug Harris because he, is, he was part of the fair here and as much part of Tinker's Park as any of us here today more so in fact. And um, I know that Robert and all the other members of the uh, TED and everybody that's uh, Fred and all the rest of the members of the family are here today and they haven't said, well, we're not doing anything, Doug's okay. just gone. They, they pull together and they come along and they're running the show for us in, in the face of all that sadness. The funeral takes place in a week's time, I believe. Doug was well known. Um, I, I mean, I knew him because he's a great AEC fan, so, so me and my son. He was a, what he couldn't do with an AEC Matador. We've got the famous Harris Matadors. They're their second World War Army lorries. And they're doing a fantastic job of pulling these things around. And, and Doug was responsible, largely responsible, for keeping them on the road. And uh, they're still doing the job they were built for more so now, I think, than ever in the in, in, every the war. He, he worked for many years for Southdown, Southdown Bus Company. Remember them? They used to work on all their uh, all their repairs down on most of the Port State garage, I would think. Um, and of course, they, they were uh, coming and loads of Leylands, and we always used to joke that the only AEC in the fleet was the AEC Matador that Doug looked after. They used to have to go out and tow them all in when they broke down. Um, he, he was also well known for his expertise with gardener engines. Now, as well as the AECs and the Leylands, gardeners were prolific manufacturers of engines and but because they were so reliable plodders, they just kept on going. All the Showland families had them for generators. And of course, again, if it, if it needed fixing, the man to call on was Doug Harris. Um, apparently, something I didn't know, he then went on after Southdown to work at Gatwick for, I believe, British, Air, British Airways, or, or as it was then, BOAC. Um, and he, he drove the he drove he had a crew bus. He drove the crews out to the airliners um, when they used to take you over to, on foreign holidays. So that was his job after the sound down. But most of the time he was with the fairground. He and his daughter and his wife had a lovely little what we call a juvenile ride. In other words, it was a ride a small ride for children. And he used to drive that round the country using again a wartime lorry. I think it was a big Q type lorry. Um, and he had Anne and Doug Harris on it written on the sign writing and so that was another job for him he was a man of all trades and all seasons he is going to be very sadly missed so ladies and gentlemen i would ask you please to have some respect and we're going to have a minute silent for doug uh, i'm going to count it off in a minute and uh, and then at the end of that i'm going to ask all our owners and drivers of engines to sound the whistles in a in a 72 whistle salute
Thank you, lads. Thank you very much. And, uh,